Hello everyone, Silverman here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. In the last episode, we got all the way to world from world th world three to world five three. I think I, I forgetting already. I feel senile. Let's start this. Oh, and this is the start of another trend. Your same love, beloved, beloved treetop levels or mountain levels with bullet bills. Yeah. Bullet bills will fire only at specified heights, though, so it's it's kind of easy to avoid them. Kind of gets annoying if you're on a moving platform over a bottomless pit, though. Bullet bills are also impervious to fire, so. Just time you're moving through the level and you should be fine. Three fireworks! An awesome note to begin the episode on. Oh! See, what, that's what I mean by the big huge fire bar! to show it this time either. In case I never get to show it off. No, my mushroom! In case I never get to show it off. You can actually beat Bowser by throwing fireballs at him. Every Mario fan probably knows this. But it's actually part of the way you fill up your album. You get Part of a four-part four-piece picture for every Bowser you actually defeat using fireballs. First one just shows Bowser. The second one shows Mario and Luigi giving each other a high five. Yeah, this little this is all I'm talking about. In Charge. Not really, since your hitbox increases when you grow. But you do get one extra hit, so that's a welcome thing. And that's actually where one of the red coins is in for challenge mode. Fireball actually will track your Bowser's fire will actually track your movement, so Thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another castle. Wow. I've been going over Skylanders lately and oh my god that let's play was long. I mean Seriously. Unless I do a really long game. Oh, lock it too. Be a witch. You can't kill him. Like that. Or by jumping on top of his head. But if you pull the edge of little Spidey out before you stomp on him, then he'll get you instead. Ah! So much for having a fire flower! Mushroom too. I stomped on Lock to get hit by a spiny. Speaking of which, 
actually funny moment that happened when I was playing my Pokemon White version for the first time. And I'm a stickler for keeping my save file of those games, so I haven't re erased it. Basically, I caught a Pharaoh Seed, named it Lock 2, because Spiny would be just too generic, you know? And then, right after when I was leaving the cave, Shiny Pharaoh Seed. It's like Chugga says, how often does that happen where you get a shiny Pokemon or something you actually want to use in your team? Not that often, I'll tell you that. Fire Flower! Fire Flower! Fire Flower! Fire Flower! Fire Flower! Sound effects are iconic. So, if you don't know about Super Mario Brothers, shame on you. Ah! What? One life left. Don't F this up. Don't Faith on Madness this up. I Faith on Madness this up. If you try and move up up on the screen, he'll actually move up along with you, so you can't stomp him. He tries to avoid being stomped. Possibly the first smart enemy in video games. He knows the the heroes they attack, and he has a way to avoid it. might slow down here because there we go stomp block two so I was forced to really re-nickname the shiny Pharisee that caught something to something different because guess what spinies Fire flower! Come here, Lock Two. Ugh, don't fall into the gap this time. Three fireworks! Sweet victory! Awesome. All those brick blocks. Yeah, coin blocks, what they do, how much enemy coins you give you depends on how fast you can hit them. I 
guess I got it. You hold down the B button of all things. Now, the original NES controller only had two buttons A and B. What am I saying? I shouldn't say of all things. If one button's jump, the other one's obviously dash. Underworld 6-3. Different color scheme. There's another bullet bill one if I'm not mistaken. Missed it, but I landed the stick stuck the landing. That cuts for counts for something. Why did I check there? I don't have these old memorized the cheese. in this game are similar. The only way their choice are different is in the is in Super Mario Brothers Lost Levels. Or in, I believe it's actually in the original Japanese Super Mario 2, which is the same thing as Lost Levels, but but with different sorts of things. Like why I jumped. I hit the A button. I don't care what the game says. The spring platforms can phase on madness, you too. Oh. Like I just did again! I'm wasting lives needlessly. There we go. The only way you get the power is to ride this platform. That way we have a smoother ride. And the bullet bills start here. Knew this was a bullet bill level. So close. Case in point. Castle, though. By the way, another thing you get the one of the photos for in your album is actually getting fireworks. Doesn't matter how many, you just need to get them. Ah, so much for that.
And this is another change that Bowser has. After World s once you get to World 6, Bowser will start throwing ha curtains of hammers. Which makes having an extra- which makes having the Super Mushroom really handy because you can- You can just tank the hit, get through him, hit the bridge collapse button, and that'll be that. That's how you can get under the, the small gases. Super Luigi, by the way. You duck. You slide for a bit after you duck if you've been dashing. Oh, take the hit, take the hit! Yeah! Thank you, Luigi! Our princess is in another castle! That voice is probably annoying as heck. On to World 7, and 7 1 is one of my least favorite levels, so I think I'm gonna cut this here. So if you like this part, subscribe, comment, thumbs up, do whatever it is you need to do to support my channel. Tell your friends! That I think they didn't, might enjoy listening to me, especially if you do. But I will see you next episode, where we tart into 7 1.